on the mountainside outside of Palma, and uh, this is a big project, potentially a big project. Uh, but this guy is building a, a, a nice, super nice house. I think the builder was saying like 40 foot timbers for supports in it. And, uh, so it's gonna be over there in the, the woods there, but right now we're, we're doing driveway, we're doing septic, putting stuff together for excavation for the house here. And, uh, hopefully before the end of the season. So we've got a couple months left. Griff, Tim, and Millie are currently digging the leach field for this job today. And Millie, well, she's still trying to get used to the camera. Griff and Tim are making strong headway on this leech field. With only a few months left in the season, Park County Gravel Crew are pressed on time to complete this job. But with the new recent purchase of the John Deere 135P excavator, it is making quick work of this leech field. Here in Alma, Colorado, Griff and Tim are about a quarter of the way done with this leech field. Griff is currently using the 135 foot excavator to level the ground all the way across to ensure that it's the proper depth evenly. This is Tim, Park County Gravel's newest greenhorn, and he is currently assisting Griff in getting the proper depth. Here at 12,000 feet, the ground is riddled with rocks, making the 135p excavator purchase a necessary purchase. In order to meet the requirements for this leech field, Griff and Tim must make this leech field 12 feet wide by 5 feet deep. Little does the cameraman know that that, in fact, is just a small one. Yeah, 
Construction lunch. Lots of calories, man. It's good. Got this applesauce. Menu 22, beef goulash. Alright, everybody, this is what Griff eats for lunch every day. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you try eating gas station food every day. This stuff's delicious. After a quick lunch, Griff gets back to work on completing the excavation portion of this leech field. Griff is currently checking the measurements to ensure that everything is up to spec for this leech field. A little bit wider on this and on this side. Wider? A little, a little wider, like a foot on this. <clears throat> so if I'm like, here, I'll probably just take the dozer and just widen that out by a foot. Oh shit, I didn't even see that boulder. That thing's huge. We don't talk about the boulder, but it's pretty close. Close enough to where I think I can switch to the dozer and call it. Now that Griff has completed the excavation portion of this leech field, he can move on to the bulldozing portion. Bulldozing this leech field will ensure that it has a proper width to meet specs as well as a proper entryway for the dump truck to make way for the material.
do a much wider, smoother sweep with that blade. As soon as I hit something like this, I feel that. Let alone one of those, or that. Or that. Or that. Or the that. Yeah. Now I'm trying to see if I'm deep enough. Close enough. Yep. Entrance still needs all these damn rocks. As your viewers know, we don't talk about the rocks. I love the rock. He's my favorite actor. <laughs> well, now that that's over, Griff can get back to work. Everything was going smooth, all up until... Oh! What happened? I totally didn't stall an automatic. That, that's not what happened. <laughs> Griff ended up getting it together. feet down on this high side. So as long as it's five feet down on this side, it's fine. This is calibrated so it's five feet everywhere. So as long as this is flat. And it's gotta be, what'd you say, 12 feet wide? 12 feet wide. Millie, on the other hand, has been doing a fantastic job at assisting Griff. I think as long as I make it flat and even level throughout for the most part, that should be it. it should be within that much. I think as long as the truck can back in here, pull out, it'll be flat. Make sure to stay tuned where we show you the beginning portion of this job where they clear all the trees to make way for that driveway and for that leach field.